Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 23 of this Let's Play European Universalis 4. This is the Saga of the Titans, and the Titans I'm joined here by are Denmark. Hello. Played by... Bushy. And Sweden. Hello. Played by... Eichel. And I myself am Norway. And I've started building ships, because that's what Norway does, they do ships. Lots and lots of ships. Usually when I'm playing, I consider, like, uh, Diplomatic Tech 9 to be when naval forces become actually viable. And I just hit Tech 9, because we've got colonialism. And you're still way behind, I guess. Not really. Eh, not too bad. Your admin is suffering. Yes, yeah, because I had to pay for a bunch of stuff. And you're unbalanced as well. Oh yeah, that is a thing too. <laughs> that is one Although, thing I keep forgetting about. Being tech twelve, maybe you'll um, offset that. Let's close that. Right, who are we missing? All of you lot. Let's go. Poland is fighting the Livonian order. Good stuff. Riga versus the Livonians, that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Riga is going to win that. Ah, oh, I have lots of heavy ships that are just obsolete. I'm really annoyed about that. <laughs> Alright, time to make me some money, new ships. And that's my full idea group. Nice. Yeah, trade's making me some nice cash now. Which is good, because I really need it. <laughs> How much do you get now? Hang on, I haven't finished setting it up. Currently getting in trade 5.1. Up from one point something. No, two point something. And all of that money is going to go to paying off loans, because I have too many of them now. And then after that I'll deal with the corruption. I'm dealing with the corruption now. The loans aren't any problem anymore. And I've got Goldingham. Nice. Thank you, Riga. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to do an opportunist declare on Livonia, but they would still bring in the French. No. Oh. Yeah. Um, can you threaten war against Riga? Um, oh, maybe. I don't have a claim on Mittau. No, you don't. I have a claim on Gold <laughs> and Dorpat, but not Metal. 440 points for attack. Nice. So far behind. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Um. Damn it, every time I start to make money or get stability back, I end up paying off the nobles. <laughs> no. A question, do I want more stability, 25 prestige, 40 administrative power, or 10 army tradition, 10 navy tradition, and 100 military power? Tradition, considering how much we fight. Yeah, but we haven't fought for a while, and we don't have anybody to fight against. But the prestige is also good for fighting, so... And... I'm ahead in military attack. I'll, I'll take the stab. We 
can actually fight Moscovy without fighting the Ottomans. True. How? Oh, Tver. Declare war on Tver. That's not a bad idea. Would you guys like a war against Riga, Bremen and Hamburg? And Poland and France. Uh, just France. I'm declaring war on Hamburg, not Riga. Okay, if you think you can keep France can out I get, of the land... Can I get Bremen then? No, I was gonna go for Bremen. I need the trade power. Oh, you want, but what about Hamburg then? Oh, sorry, yeah, I was gonna take Hamburg. You can have Bremen. Yeah, that, that's my idea. Hey. Can I have Riga then? Yeah. Let me get a claim on... Um, yeah, let me get a claim on... <laughs> let me get a claim on Bremen and get some... Oh, I'll take a loan. Um, some artillery. Oh yeah, I should build some artillery as well. Yeah, I, I don't know how to keep France out of the war, that's the only thing. Unless France... Oh, nicely. France is already in a war. They might not join. They're winning that war though. Mm. Yeah, and they're not the war leader either. Stop spying on me, Denmark. <laughs> Aggressive expansion should be fine. I've got 11 with Pomerania and 0 with the rest of the world. France has 40 positive, 9 negative. So we need France to lose a war against someone. Anyone. So that they lose the um, Defender of the Faith. Yeah, that's unlikely to happen. You never know. How strong is Austria? Or Spain. Or England. But they're not fighting. Not yet. <clears throat> Moscovy are going to annex or vassalize Livonia. Ten heavies. Which would cost a mere 570 to upgrade. More loans. I'm not upgrading them. I'm going to bludgeon people with sheer weight of numbers plus my 20% extra morale. Yeah, I'm not sure how much good I'm going to be in this war because... I'm still way behind on tech, and I need 900 gold in order to convert. Ouch. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a bit behind. Half of my land isn't even uh, doing anything yet. Yay, no more unbalanced tech penalty. Go us. <laughs> nope, stop looking at America. No colonies. It would, cost, it would cost me more than six loans to buy colonialism. Well, you did tell me it was worth taking loans for that. Yeah, I'm not convinced it's worth that many. True. Although I could jump up in admin tech twice very quickly and mill tech once, probably diplo as well. I just need to do lots of work in this war and take lots of money. Yeah, that's another reason to go to war with miners. 
cash. I I've got fabricate a... on Riga. That would be my preferred one, and I'm ready to go. I've got a claim on the uh, Raymond. I still need to get my morale up, though. And maybe you should shift your army to Denmark already. Yeah, I'm shifting mine down. I'll sit in Slicevig. We, we might get a, a quick war, even. We should be able to get Riga and some of the others out, but we won't be able to get the war leader out without fighting France. Damn it, even the Ottomans get colonialism before me. <laughs> That's Let's just embarrassing. I haven't got my claim yet. Yay, no corruption. Oh yeah, I need a general. I need a better general. <laughs> three, 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 one. Two one zero one. Free mercantilism. Three. Nice. Or oh, thirty three diplomatic points. Yeah, um <laughs> That basically is three hundred diplo points versus thirty three diplo points. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start raising maintenance. There is one event which I quite like, which is the shopkeepers one. Plus five mercantilism. Very nice. You actually have a choice. You can choose between taking plus three mercantilism, plus five mercantilism, or some trade power in a trade mode or something. All right. I'm not bringing my ships out for this because I don't think we need it. Only to counter whatever the French land. Is a is it yep. a Palatinate joining? The emperor? No, because I have a claim. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a claim or not. It does, because they don't have the... Which one is it? What you're telling me, if I, s I have a claim on Bremen, and if I'm wanting to start a war, and I'm looking at the Platinates, they will join, and there's, there's nothing said about a claim or not. I th Positive oh, maybe it's because I'm so used to playing within the Empire. Hang on. Yeah. Oh. I can't fabricate on Hamburg anyway. You can't reach. Because I'm not adjacent to them. Um, I can sort of walk with Bremen, the blood's not one... Oh, the, they're just... That's one tick. Ah. Yeah, fighting within the HRE is quite easy. Well, the Palatinate's at war with Hungary, Lithuania and Siena. Yeah. But they're allied with a lot of people. Yeah, you don't want to go toward the Emperor. And in that case, I'm going to back off. Not worth it. Is there anything else we can go for? Moscovy again, I guess. Yeah, but I'm really not in the shape for a prolonged war. And we would have to take money from them. Well, I think... Well, let's see. If I... Declare on Riga, it brings in Hamburg, Poland, and France. Which we I mean, probably couldn't handle. <clears throat> no. What if you declared on Muscovy? The Ottomans would join. Yep, but if I declare on Tver, it would just be the Ottomans. Uh, just the Muscovies. Uh, we can do that. As long as I'm just taking land rather than fighting. <laughs> then I can well, keep my maintenance low. We're going to need our entire army to sit in one place and fight. We can't split up like we did last time. Alright. So well, we're going to? I'm in, but we have to take money from it. If we can. Yeah. Let me turn my thoughts on and let them tick for a bit. And I'd like Shenkursk, Ustuk, and Ustvim. 
So many demands. <laughs> I'm just telling you beforehand, so you're this aware. This is my war. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ver. You can have to ver. Wait for my army. Oh yeah, nah. I'm not clearing war just yet. You're gonna get in position. You're gonna let the forts do something. Um, tech level eleven. I'm 12. I'm 12 as well. I'm 10. Bohemia just rivaled me. I'm about to lose the great power. Go. Oh. That wasn't me. <laughs> right, let me just quickly embrace colonialism. <laughs> Suddenly buying it seems like such a good idea. Livonia, the Ottomans, and Brunswick. Brunswick? Oh. Brunswick? Oh, bollocks. That means I need to keep my fort on. Right, yeah, do they have down. a navy? Uh, the other, uh, yes, Ottomans fighting probably mine. do. Uh, my my seven <coughs> heavies are coming in. My heavies need to repair. But then I'm going to go and smash up the Ottoman Navy. Yeah, that's not going to help us smash up their army. No, but it's war score and I can blockade. Should we have a little look at the army size rallied against us? I'd rather not. <laughs> Ottomans, 63,000. Moscovy, 48,000. Brunswick? Oh, I thought they were a minor power. Uh, no. no. <laughs> no. Uh, where are they? 19,000. Everyone's got full manpower. Brunswick like has only 19. 45 and Danish 25. That's rubbish, Denmark. I could take on Brunswick. Yeah, see if you can and get them out of the war. A stack full of Norwegian infantry. Lovely. We can siege. <laughs> <laughs> And I am, like, ahead of time in military. Good. Well, speed down and let's give it a go. Speed is down. First blood. We put their navy back in their port. And sit down. And I'm now a great power. Uh, Brunswick didn't join. Ottomans did. Nor did Tver. But we got Lithuania in on our side. Good. Oh, nice. 300 ducats from Venice. Oh, very nice. I have an alliance offer from Lithuania. I think I'll take that. I don't get many of them. Offers or friends? Both. Two and a half percent discipline. Right. Where are these Just ships keep, from? keep your armies close by. I think it'll be the name of the game with this one. Yeah, cool. Gonna go and siege down Dorpat, Mordred. Uh, can do. Where is it? Livonia. Ah, yeah. I might be able to get uh, tech thirteen this this war. It looks nice. like they're coming for Sukhov. No, they changed their mind. Lithuania is going to be out of this war pretty soon. Yeah. They're already at war with someone. Alright, Mundorpa. They're coming in Sukhov. I'm going to wait until they're locked and I'll come join you. Yeah, I have another 25,000 men. Ah. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> they ran. Plus 10% land fire damage. My general. Oh, I'll make 
I have no cannons, damn it. <clears throat> also the Nava. Yes. Oh, that's woods. How do we attack them? And that Galia. We don't have a castle there. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. We do. Then yes, I would say we should. Let the Livonians just kill themselves. Loan offer from Venice. As much as I would like to. I don't want to pay your interest. Um, they're, they're gone. Here come the Russians again. Yep, I'm joining in. A <laughs> thousand men. Bye. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> don't come again soon. No, please, keep throwing yourselves. <laughs> True. I'm not from Serbia. Um, nah. No thanks, Lubeck. I don't want to deal with your rebels right now. You're from Kazan. Um... It's costing me a lot of infantry, this one. Gift from... What's the war? Rise over again. Here they come again. They caught Lithuania and Ostrov. I'm joining them. I'm coming too. A gift As is the Ottoman stack. Um, I've got rebels in Golding. Um, Bane? Yes, right. I'm going to sit in Sukhov and respond where I'm needed. The Ottomans don't seem too clear on what they're trying to do here. You're about to be hit in column. It's little stacks that I was trying to group up. We can get them in Novgorod. We probably... Oh no, they were leaving. They saw the threat. <laughs> I'll stay in column. Okay. Oh, and I'm getting attacked, but uh, yeah, they're going to march in. The Ottomans okay. are coming. Everyone in column. And they... Ran left. away. Cool. That's a 20,000 stack. Yeah, yeah they just killed... Let's get that army in sick off. Yeah. They just killed my army in Dorpat. Bastards. How many did you lose? 3,000. Nah. That's your army. No. <laughs> that was my sieging army. Um... Coming in Bello Zero again. Bello Zero. Bello is set on okay. uh, Polotsk. I was I, going there. I'll stay in um, Ostrov. Yep. I think we just want to stay close. I'll stay yeah. in Galia. I hear it's a nice place this time of year. In, in, no river. in November. I've got Tech 13 military. And I really should be building a spyware network. I already am. Right, yeah, amazing. Russell, just chip, 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 chip away. Oh, and that is the end of this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing as well. If you have any tips or advice for any of us, then do let us know in the comments. That's goodbye from Denmark. Goodbye. And from Sweden. Goodbye. And from me. We'll catch you next time. Goodbye.